the accused in CBI cases are charged with serious violations of the law. The justice delivery mechanism must be swift. The life of the accused is altered and their reputation is also significantly hurt when they are accused of an offense. Delays in the disposal of cases therefore become a significant impediment in the process of justice delivery. Delay in prosecutions is one of the common and grave concerns of the justice delivery mechanism. Anyone acquainted with court procedures would acknowledge that the examination of witnesses in a criminal trial is a time-consuming process. Delays in examination lead to derailment of the trial. Expert witnesses may need to unwrap the working of a scientific process or the inner workings of the process in which corruption is alleged, which is also time-consuming. In the realm of criminal justice, the delicate balance between search and seizure powers and individual privacy rights stands at the cornerstone of a fair and just society. At the heart of this balance lies the need to uphold due process while ensuring the effective functioning of, of law enforcement agencies. Section 94 of the newly enacted Bharati and Nagarik Suraksha Samhita 2023 and Section 185 of the Bharatiya Saksha Adhiniyam 2023 grant courts and law enforcement the authority to summon documents and materials, including digital evidence, deemed necessary for investigation, instances of raids conducted, and, inc and incidents of unwarranted confiscation of personal devices highlight the pressing need to strike a balance between investigative imperatives and individual privacy rights. A petition was filed in the Supreme Court highlighting the absence of well-defined legal frameworks governing the procedures for electronic device searches and seizures. The Supreme Court directed union agencies to adhere to the 2020 CBI Crime Manual on digital evidence until formal guidelines are established and this was in the Foundation of Media versus Profession Media Professionals versus Union of India in an interim order of 14th of December 2023 by Justice Sanjay Kishan Kaul and Justice Sudanshu Dulia. Brother Sudanshu is part of the audience this evening. The CBI manual, which is framed on the basis of the provisions of the CRPC, provides essential guidelines for CBI's investigative functions, including raids, seizures, and arrests. It emphasizes the importance of scrupulous adherence to established procedures and introduces accountability for deviations. The CBI manual mandates the provision of hash values for confiscated digital devices like mobile phones and laptops during investigation. Hash values akin to electronic fingerprints are generated under the Information Technology Act to safeguard the integrity of seized electronic devices. Additionally, the manual mandates the creation of an image of seized electronic documents at the time of seizure, further safeguarding against tampering or manipulation. The new criminal laws recently enacted by Parliament encompass substantive crime, procedure and evidence. These laws aim at digitizing various aspects of criminal procedure. This is a significant step towards modernizing the justice system. From the initial registration of a first information report to the final delivery of judgment, every stage of a criminal investigation is slated to be recorded digitally under the purview of the proposed legislation. This comprehensive approach ensures a seamless flow of information and is intended to facilitate better coordination and collaboration among stakeholders involved in the investigative and adjudicatory processes. Summons can now be issued electronically. Testimonies from witnesses, experts, accused individuals, and other parties may also be presented virtually. This innovation eliminates the need for physical documentation and enables swift communication between law enforcement agencies, courts, and individuals involved in legal proceedings. It will obviate the delay in bail orders reaching the jail authorities and in recording witness depositions. Similarly, the authorization for presenting testimonies virtually opens up new avenues for participation in legal proceedings, 
allowing contributions to the process from remote locations. So the new law then creates new facilities and possibilities for the use of technology for recording evidence through video conferencing as and when possible. Section 296 of the CRPC, which is similar to Section 332 of the Bharatiya Nagarik Suksha, Suraksha Samhita, provides for the recording of evidence on formal character on affidavit. Section 330 of the Samhita provides that no formal proof of certain documents is required if the genuineness of the documents is not disputed and that such documents may be read in evidence. So the new criminal laws which have been enacted by Parliament now provide both a challenge and an opportunity. And I think it is important that all arms of the Criminal Justice Administration, the law enforcement agencies, uh, the courts, and all other stakeholders, including the forensic science labs, must collaborate together by holding training programs so that we understand and appreciate the problems which we face and the challenges which we have to confront.